Today on CCX News. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Protesters disrupt a Maple Grove city meeting. What led to the outburst? Maple Grove council members, acting as the Economic Development Authority, met Monday night to vote on whether to provide financial assistance to BAE Systems, a company that specializes in weapons manufacturing. Weapons have one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to kill. There is no, there is nothing good that comes from weapon manufacturing in Minnesota. Thank you. Dozens of activists packed the council chambers to voice their concerns. BAE Systems wants to build a 248,000 square foot manufacturing warehouse in the gravel mining area near Highway 169 and I-94. The company is seeking a $600,000 aid package in the form of tax increment financing to make soil corrections that officials say is needed for development to occur. The Maple Grove EDA unanimously voted to approve the financing. After the vote took place, a protest immediately followed, forcing the board to call a recess and ultimately end the meeting. Brooklyn Park Police responded to several 911 calls Monday night with callers reporting hearing multiple gunshots. Officers responded shortly before 11.30 Monday night in the 5600 block of 96th Avenue North. When they arrived, they found broken glass and numerous shell casings in a parking lot. They later located a person who told police his vehicle was shot at. Fortunately, no one was hurt. The investigation is ongoing. Two people are in custody after they attempted to steal a car in Robbinsdale Monday night and fled the scene. Robbinsdale police say they responded to a report of an attempted auto theft in progress near Lake Drive and Beard Avenue. When officers arrived, the suspects fled in two separate vehicles, both of which were reported stolen. After a short chase, police used a pit maneuver to disable one of the vehicles. Police arrested two people, but the other car escaped. Governor Tim Walz visited Hennepin Technical College in Brooklyn Park Tuesday to announce $20 million in job training grants. Look, our economy is strong. Minnesota is a good place to live, but if you talk to every single company or HR managers, worker shortage is a big issue. Trying to find a workforce that's there. The grants are part of the governor's new Drive for Five initiative to fund training programs for five high-demand fields. The goal is to train Minnesotans for jobs in tech, the trades, caring professions, manufacturing, and education. Hennepin Technical College in Brooklyn Park was awarded $250,000 through the program. President Joy Bodine says they'll use the grant to start a new manufacturing and paid internship program for adults with autism. They will have um, hands-on education to become a CNC machine operator. And in 10 weeks, so they'll get technical training, they'll get two industry certi certifications, they'll get college credit. The Minnesota Precision Manufacturing Association, also located in Brooklyn Park, was awarded $800,000 for job placement and retention services. North Memorial Health is sounding the alarm on financial challenges facing the nonprofit, saying unreimbursed care at its Robbinsdale Hospital has put the system at a breaking point. New North Memorial Health CEO Trevor Sawalish gave the Maple Grove City Council an update on its financial situation. Sawalish is making a plea for county and state help to cover losses for unreimbursed and under-reimbursed care at the Robbinsdale Hospital that he expects to reach $100 million by 2025. He says without any assistance, North Memorial Health would have to delay plans for expansion at its Maple Grove Hospital. We are continuing our plans. We have uh, many different versions of what that could look like. But until we solve this problem for our overall economics, in particular until we solve this problem for Robbinsdale, those plans are going to be on hold. About three out of every four patients at North Memorial Health Hospital in Robbinsdale receive some sort of government assistance, higher than the state average. A Brooklyn Park native who made it to the big stage is back to show off what she's learned. Reporter Emily Haugen introduces us to North Hennepin Community College's latest guest at the school's Stages of Equity Festival. North Hennepin students were treated to a dance class. 
taught by a pro. What I'm gonna do is kind of give people here an experience, an LA experience. Corbin Hunter has a love of dance, homegrown in Brooklyn Park. It started, you know, just as a something to do to get the kids, you know, away from home. And it led to me falling in love, dance has, and will forever be my first love. That passion took her to LA, where after years of hard work, she earned a spot as a backup dancer for Beyonce. Her mom works at North Hennepin, and the school invited her back to share what she's learned. When I finally got the initial invitation, I was like, absolutely like, send me the details, I'll be here. Corbin's visit is a part of the fourth annual Stages of Equity Festival. A celebration of self, not only as a, as a, as a BIPOC artist, but, but also of com community. North Hennepin's Kathy Hendrickson says it's a celebration of BIPOC art and artists. Students, staff, and the community were all welcome to tap into their potential. The yes, you can do it, because dreams, we all have dreams, but dreams do nothing without action. Here we go, here we go and without mentors, as we know. Dreams like Corbin's, dating back to her youth that came true, that she's now here to share. I remember walking back and having Beyonce and her dancers walk by, and I was like, I'm gonna dance for you one day. And she politely smiled and went about, you know, her day. It's a little piece of inspiration. Hey! right back where she started in Brooklyn Park. We, as a collective, um, can do it all, right? I don't like that. People, they put us in boxes of what's accepted and what we should be doing or what we shouldn't be doing. Like, no, I can do whatever I want. In Brooklyn Park, Emily Haugen, CCX News. The next Stages of Equity event is coming up March 22nd with a performance from Two Dance Company.